Hi, I'm Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will talk about a solution that I built for creating a slide factory. This is something that many people want, and I'm just going to show you my solution for that. It's not a product. It's not something I sell yet, but if you're interested, then please let me know, and maybe we can come to a solution. But here's the demo. And as you probably know, the background is that you have lots of presentations that you're doing with different contents to different audiences. So I have a bunch of slides. Let me just show those here. Here they are. So here in my presentations, I have a folder for English slides, one for Spanish and one for Swedish. So that's one of my things that I want. I, I present in three different languages. And in the English here, I have a bunch of subfolders here under slides in different areas. So what I want is to be able to select the slides from, for example, here. I want to talk about land animals, and there is a bunch of slides on land animals. All right. Each of these slides, by the way, is, uh, is a PowerPoint presentation, as you see, a PPTX file. So each slide is one PPTX file. So what I do when I want to do a new presentation is I click this Build Deck button, and that shows me all the uh, categories that I have. So I call the under the first level here, I call that categories. And then under the categories are the wilderness, for example, is a category. And these under are sections. So yeah, there we go. So now I want to talk about politics and I want to do an intro about myself. So I'm just going to click that intro, Peter Kalmstrom and politics. That's what I want to talk about. Then I select, that I want to talk in uh, English this time. Uh, but as you see, I have a few other languages here. So I'll actually, let's do it Spanish. All right, then I build the deck. And as you see now, it starts working and building that deck. And I have set my own properties on that deck so that I get it exactly the way I want. So now it's working along there, creating the deck and copying all of those files. And also it's doing the translation to um, the proper language of those slides. So in a few seconds here, it's actually copying in and reading in all of those files into my presentations. There we go. Now it should be done. Yeah, there it is. So there now you see I have my slide deck presentation one. And if I go into that, I can see the slide sorter. And here are my different sections. Now there was only one slide on politics and rewilding there, but this is um, my presentation, a very short one, as you saw. That is my tool. Let me show you some other features of this. Now, of course, this is now a copy of the original slide. So if I, I have a button for that also, if I want to make some changes, I don't want to make them in, in this copy. I can, of course, but then they won't persist. So if I think this should always be better, then I open the original slide and then I get into that. And there I have all the links to, to that, of course, which supports the case or describes me or whatever. I can also say that I want a language specific slide. So for example, this slide should be available, especially I should make something extra for Swedish. Then I make a language specific slide and I select which language it should be for. And I can make a copy of the current slide or I should not. I can enter a new subject for it. I'll also have um, this one uh, in search slides which allows me to select uh, all the slides in a specific, a specific area here. So now I want, I want to have the ethics one, for example, I want to include that one. So then I can just insert the selected either at the end or right here where I am. So now you see that slide was inserted there, right where I am. And it was also translated to Spanish. So those are some of the features that I have in this um, slide generator or a slide factory, whatever you want to call it. If you're interested in learning more or scheduling a demo or something, let me know and we'll set something up. Thank you for watching this demonstration.